And now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Finally got a break from the wind this afternoon. That was especially nice if you had to spend some time outside. Temperatures climbed into the mid and upper 40s. We saw plenty of sunshine. Pinpoint Viper remains nice and quiet this evening. I expect it's going to stay that way as we head into the overnight. The only change that I expect will show up is on a satellite where I think we'll begin to notice some cloud cover building into North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Right now, that cloud cover exists across Central and South Alabama, back into Mississippi and Arkansas. Some of that will begin to creep into the Tennessee Valley as we head into the later hours of the overnight. And then I think you'll especially notice it when you wake up early on your Thursday morning. By the time we get to 8 o'clock in the morning, a mostly cloudy to overcast sky across different portions of the Tennessee Valley, especially north of the Tennessee River, up into southern middle Tennessee. But a thicker cloud deck will eventually move into north Alabama. Now, look at what our regional future, future cast is picking up by 8 o'clock in the morning. Trying to pick up on a little bit of rain entering the Memphis area, getting into Mississippi. Future cast tries to bring that through the Tennessee Valley early Thursday morning. I'm not completely sold on that idea, but we'll hold the small chance in the forecast, but I'm pretty confident most of us are going to stay dry, albeit mostly cloudy, at least through the lunch hour. Things begin to change a little bit as we approach the evening. Now some light scattered shower activity moves into northwest Alabama. Lauderdale, Cobbert, and Franklin counties may be up into southern middle Tennessee, trying to bring a couple of showers as far east as uh, Limestone County, maybe far western Madison County. This is early into the evening. This activity would be light and scattered. Some more widespread precipitation begins to move into the Tennessee Valley as we head into the early part of the overnight. Now we're talking about 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night when you see some of that heavier rain beginning to move into North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. This heavier rain is going to be associated with a cold front that moves through just behind it. Now on the backside, we quiet down rather quickly. It does look like the rain is going to move out of North Alabama by about three or four o'clock in the morning. From there, it does look like we remain dry. And actually, Futurecast is trying to hint at this idea of a fair amount of sunshine through Friday afternoon. As far as rain totals are concerned, most of us looking at somewhere between a quarter of an inch to locally, I think we'd be talking about a half an inch of rain. And this is rain we could actually use. Everybody has stayed dry so far in the first couple of days of February so far this year. Huntsville International has seen just over two and a quarter inches. Muscle Shoals Airport has seen just over three and three quarters. Guntersville has seen 3.69 inches of rain so far this year. So we could actually use just a little bit of rain. We stay warm tonight relative to the last couple of nights. We're dropping into the upper 20s and lower 30s. I've got a low right around 30 degrees. Not too bad at the bus stop. 34 by 7, 37 by 8, 41 degrees by 9 o'clock. With winds out of the south, temperatures climb into the mid and upper 50s. I've got a high right around 56 degrees. Also going to be just a touch on the breezy end of the spectrum. Not in the morning. Winds 5 to 10, maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour. But then as we progress through the later part of the afternoon, wind speed are going to increase 15 to 20. Wind gusts could be 25 to 30 miles per hour, so just be mindful of that. 48 on Friday, 53 on Saturday, 50 on Sunday. Warmer again as we get into Monday and next week, not looking near as cold as it was just a couple of days ago. Connor. You know, the wind is never fun, but that's a pretty good forecast. Yeah, it's really not a bad forecast. You're right, the wind's never fun, but at least it's not giving us a wind chill this time. It's yes. helping us to warm up. Yes, very true. Thank you, Jordan.